eyesight and mind sight. Eyesight is judging on what you see, judging according to appearances. But mind sight is how you interpret what you see. We have, as humans, we have something that no animal has. And what it's called is imagination. And what imagination allows you to do, it allows you to see it before it actually happens. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Before in April 1954, the common belief, the universal belief, because it had been tried again and again and again and people had failed, the belief was that man was not physically capable of breaking the four-minute barrier, that he could not run a mile in less than four minutes. When something happens to them, they begin to believe that that's the way it is. That's the way it's always been. And they can't see the possibility of it being any different. 250 yards to go and Bannister takes over. Watch his giant stride take him to the front as he races the last lung-bursting... Roger Bannister came along. And he broke the four-minute barrier. Since that time, up to this day, over 20,000 people have done it, including high school kids. 20,000 people, what changed? Here's what happened when they got on the track. They knew it had been done. And because they knew it had been done, there was a new belief about this barrier that was unreachable. And those 20,000 people got in a race believing, knowing in their heart that someone had done it, that it's possible, that they could do it. You got to have faith. You want to make your dream come true, you got to stay focused. Some people rather get even than get ahead. Stay focused on where you want to go. That any of us have dreams that were not given to us for the purpose of accomplishing those particular dreams. God didn't bring you in this world to be average. God didn't bring you in this world to wake up and die. You can never shine trying to sit on someone else's sun. You can never figure out who you are. Where are you going with your life? 